Barbell Junction. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Three, two, one. Hi, welcome to Barbell Junction. My name is Azmir, and with me are Harez, Carlos, and me, Faye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is episode number five, and uh, Carlos is right. from Union Strength. Um, to be honest, I um, you just, you came into the scene quite uh, suddenly, you know, from my point of view because yeah. I was, I think you came in uh, probably two years ago. Uh, was it two years ago? Just well, yeah, you can say two years ago, but the gym opened. Just over a year ago, right? Obviously, two years ago yeah. is when everything was being planned and mm. all that. Yeah. Yeah. So, now can you tell us prior to opening up the Union Strength, what what were you doing? Yeah. So, uh, so no, I about yourself? totally understand because I wasn't really in the fitness scene at all. Like growing up, I was uh, I was into fitness. I played a lot of professional. Oh, well, not professional. <laughs> I played competitive football. Right. Um, and then when that didn't work out because of injuries, I picked up gymming. Right. And and uh, because, I mean, I'm sure like most people, you really get into the gym. It is a thought, like one day you'll say, you know, it'd be cool if I, I opened the gym, gym, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I think that's, that's, that's how it happened. Like, it was really just a passion. And I said, you know, let's just do it. But before this, I was in the corporate world. I was working three years. I was in an IT company. Yeah. Totally Ooh. wasn't me. I uh, left before a year. And then I went on to e-commerce, did that for about two years. Okay. But it just wasn't my thing. Yeah. So I said, just just do something that you want to do. Mm. At the time, it was fitness. Fitness was really the only thing I could really resonate with. And uh, and then, yeah, Union Strength. Right. Mm. Yeah. What so. did you do in the IT company? What, what was it? So we... Top we, secret. No, <laughs> not at all. So we serviced banks, actually. Ah. Uh, we had a particular software uh, that helped banks... Uh, with, with loans and, and stuff like that. Right. Don't want to get into the technical detail. Yeah. Okay. Right, but right. but uh, yeah, like completely different from what mm. I do. Um, and then e-commerce, e-commerce, e-commerce. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you mean to say you had formal education? And then yeah. At the same time? Or was it after that you started getting into competitive sports? Oh, so, so competitive sports was from a kid. Okay. And so I, this wasn't a career for you? No, 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 I mean, it was supposed to, well, that was the plan at least. So after I graduated from university, my initial plan was to uh, play make a career professional out of it. football, make a career out of it. Football. Um, can, I mean, can, I can I just stop you? Like, yeah. uh, are you, you're Malaysian, right? <laughs> what's, your back, <laughs> what's your background? No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm from the Philippines, actually. Ah, Philippines. okay. So All right. So you, played, so you played football in Philippines? So I grew up here for, oh. well, we moved here in like 1998. Okay. And how old were you then? Uh, six turning seven. So I'm 27 okay. now. Okay. Uh, moved here as a kid because of my dad's job. And then I went to school here right until high school, went overseas to the UK. UK, okay. Um, and I played football throughout. I even played at university level. Um, and obviously with a degree, the goal is to get a job after. Yeah. Um, but I said, I'll try football for a bit. But I couldn't even. I I didn't even start because I got injured, tore my ACL, had surgery, Ooh. and then that was it. I said, you know, I can't even play. Yeah. So if you were I'm forced out of the that path. Yeah. Into the but IT. I think I think because of because of uh, because of formal education, all that the mm. goal was to eventually work. Okay. Mm. Okay. But I wanted, you know, one or two years just to play football and see where that took me. Right. Um, anyway, that didn't that didn't start. That didn't pick off. Um, so. Then the next thing was to get a job. Get a job. <clears throat> and uh, so that, that was it. I flew back to KL, applied for jobs. You have a, uh, ever had a need to go back to the Philippines or is just, this uh, is just your home already? This is home. This yeah. is home. So we, we've not left since we moved in 98. So um, in fact, funny story. I've not actually lived in the Philippines. I was born in Hong Kong before. Right. So both my parents right, right. were working there for many years. Okay. Um, and then, so I was born there, moved here when I was six. But because my, bo both my parents were from yeah. the Philippines, I have a Philippine passport. Right. And we still go back every year. Yeah. Okay. Relatives, families there. Mm. Um, uh, but home, if you ask me, is Malaysia. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, 
yeah, completely agree. Just burst out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was really sort of uh, just passion. Right. Yeah. Pure passion. Yeah. That's how it picked up. So, so Union Strength was um, established about a year ago, as you said. Yeah. Right. December uh, 2017, to be exact. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So Christmas Day we opened. Mm, right. Right. <laughs> right. And how many partners do you have? So it's actually a family business. It's just myself and well, my parents. Um, the chip in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's just me running it. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Believe it or not. Uh, I mean, how do you make... Like, you have coaches under you, um, uh, I assume. So how we run, actually, the gym has transformed a lot. So initially, it was really just supposed to be an open gym. Yeah. Um, and I guess we can talk business here now. Yeah, yeah. So it was supposed to be an open gym uh, where we have... Uh, like a nicely laid out gym, functional functional space, we've got racks, deadlift platforms. In the area, there was no, no gym that did that. Mm -hmm, that's right. Um, and so the idea really was open a super cool gym, members will come in, they'll pay, and, yeah. and, then, and then. Yeah, just do whatever, right? And then you do Slam, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that. Change, right? Very quickly changed. We said, mm -hmm. you know what? Like, that's a... Not everyone sees the gym the way I do. Yeah. Okay. And, and so we had to shift the focus. And, and so now we actually run uh, personal training. Personal training. Mm. So it transformed a lot. So from purely open gym, it moved to open gym with personal training. Um, and then now we provide classes just on the cool. weekends. Cool, okay. Uh, but we don't have full-time trainers. Right. Um, so oh. they're all part-time right now. Um, oh. And then we just do like a commission split per session service. Mm, okay. So yeah. So I'm as assuming when um, when you had that, that open gym model, you yeah. didn't have any any uh, much, like a lot of people under you as trainers. And then when you started to think, when you saw that you had to shift to that, then you started to look yeah. for people to hire. So so we, we didn't yeah exactly we started actually at the time our manager um, he was he has a personal training background. Okay. And we, we, we just didn't set up. The business model wasn't set up to provide personal, personal training. training. Yeah. Right. So uh, we just started off with him running the personal training. Mm. Um, okay. It was like, a, then, like an ad hoc kind of thing? Even yeah, it like was like, you do your task. Yeah, you, you do your that. task. And if a member comes in and asks for a personal training, uh, then at least we have someone to okay. provide to them. Right. Obviously, that changed. Yeah. yeah. So the, then we started to look for uh, uh, trainers. Um, but how it's run right now, is just part time. Part time, okay. Yeah. So mm. full time is just you and the manager. Full time is me and two sales staff. Okay. Right. And sales then staff. the rest is um, uh, the rest are part time. Part time. Okay. We have front desk team mm. and stuff yep. like that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, you, you're uh, probably uh, thinking, how uh, does this work? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm a bit dense with you. It was an open gym in the sense that. You, you get members in, it's not, yeah. right? So it's still a membership model. Okay. Right? So, so the thing that changed was... The what personal it? training, baby. So oh, you okay. had to really focus more on personal training. Mm. Yeah. Day you have bills to pay, yeah. salaries to pay. Yeah. Mm. So we needed other revenue streams. Yeah. Right. So yeah. before you were thinking with the open gym, people already knew what they wanted to do. And this just wanted a, a, a cool a place, place to train, train basically, yeah. and just do their own stuff. And yeah, stay. absolutely. But, then but that, that wasn't attracting the amount of people that you... <laughs> Thought it would. So, like, if, if you talk about Sri Thomas, Molkiara, you wouldn't really think of lifters, right? Mm -hmm. like yeah. Maybe you think of Sha Lam, Subang, it's, it's a bit more accepted. True. So, at the start when the gym opened, I'm not gonna lie, people thought it was uh, intimidating. Like, right, yeah. Whoa, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of squat racks. A bunch of deadlift plants. Giant ones. plates. Like, they're so oh, big. Giant, yeah. <laughs> big plate loaded equipment. And, yeah. And, we had a lot of people saying, you know, cool, this is a, this is a cool gym, mm -hmm. but what do I do? Yeah, How do I use yeah, it, yeah, right? Yeah. Of course, we attracted uh, the advanced lifters, the serious lifters, who knew what they wanted yeah. to do. In That's the not gym. enough, right? It's not enough. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, also, like, how many of them are in our area? Yeah, um, yeah. So, th of course, like, like, as a business owner, you, you, you try one thing, if it doesn't work, you have to keep evolving. Yeah. Hell yeah. Of course, like, yeah. So, so Union Strength, <laughs> when we open, has changed completely to where we are now. Yeah, look at us. Um, I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. It was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, same thing. I yeah. mean, it's. 
we are, we're not a gym anymore. We're do, do you a training you facility <laughs> yeah. with, so, our, with you know, podcasts. Uh, <laughs> long, long, long time ago when I was still going to the gym. Uh, <laughs> when you're just still some, going to the gym. You're uh, in a gym right now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I used to do bodybuilding stuff, mm. right? Ooh, uh, wow. Do you think that nowadays people are less into bodybuilding type of workout and that's why you had to change your business model? So I, w- I would say, I mean, the gym is very, um, it's, it's really a hybrid gym. Actually, I, I would say we have more powerlifters and crossfitters than bodybuilding, but I, mm. I, I know what you mean. Um, but if in this day and age, you see a lot of new gyms and studios that are opening like classes Boutiques. model, yeah. mm. right? Yeah. Where it's uh, group cycling or group boxing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. Do you think they're killing us? Cancer. Yes, They're they are. Cancer of I, I, cancer. Have to, yeah. I have to answer very nicely because I have a lot of friends who. who oh, yeah. we're sorry. No, they're, they're, they're we love it. They're, 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 they're great, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And it's it's a huge attraction to people because a lot of people they want to be told what to do. Mm. And they well, yeah, without thinking, the, right? The, the cool mm. hip place. This is a sexy place. I want to get my phone and Instagram. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. With the you lights know? and yeah. everything. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's like a nightclub type thing. Yeah. Like music and. Have hot trainers and stuff like that. Uh, um, okay. Working hard. I mean, the <laughs> 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 we're yeah, we're work. just missing the lights. And I are kind of yeah, we just need the lights. Semi- we're, we're set. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get all the customers. We're not um, getting anyone. <laughs> I think I think that's the trend right now for sure. Yeah, yeah that's mm. the trend. And uh, I mean, you just have to evolve around it, right? Right. So so once um, you've you've turned the business um, to a different model. Uh, how are you uh, surviving now? So, so now it's still we, we still want to maintain that memberships model, right? And personal training model. I think we're going to stick to it, um, but but we've had to get on platforms that will help drive mm. those kind of people, like you know, class pass, yeah, big class, class mm. pass, uh, things like that, because it does attract um, it does attract those kind of people. Mm. Right. But then the, the, the cream and the crop of, of the business really are, we're looking for paying members. Yeah. yeah. Pay the yeah. Bills, right? Yeah. Um, but really, the main thing is we need to see how like we can add value to them. So on top of a nice facility, what else do you offer? Personal training, we offer classes. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, luxurious showers, changing rooms. Oh, yes. Towels, Actually, yes, yes. Like yeah. so if, you, if you guys haven't been to Union Strength, showers and bathrooms, are, mm. We, really get that, we get that yeah. a lot. We get that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Osborne, um, have you been to the bathroom there? I've been to ours. Oh, you've been to ours? <laughs> I, was, I think I was better. <laughs> it has a hose. It has a hose inside. <laughs> so, so really, we just have to find ways. Um, like, I, I couldn't hack this idea, right? So I had a personal friend who never really went to the gym, right. had a fitness first membership, was paying 200, 200 plus, plus yeah. a yeah. month, but never went. Never went, right? Yeah. And at the time, our our early bird membership prices was one fifty a month. Mm. Early bird, it's, it's yeah. different now. Mm. And he told me it's too expensive. And I said, "What, <laughs> bro? You, you you don't go to fitness first. You're paying two hundred plus a month. This is one hundred fifty. And this is one hundred fifty. <laughs> then I, I I realized I I can't take this personally because he just doesn't see the value in it. Yeah, right? that's right. You know what I mean? So right. so then that's what that Sorry. that's when I opened my eyes. I was like, wow, okay. Clearly, just the gym. Not enough. And showers is, is not enough. It's not enough. People right? don't appreciate the, they, they, the they kind of service that you provide, right? I mean, yeah, and, and it's only a specific set of exactly, people, probably yeah. us. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Who love the, the, the You see a barbell and you're like, whoa. You okay, yeah, you know what I do. From, yeah, that's I'm it. I'm done. That's it, yeah. Exactly, sold, yeah. You know? Especially in Malaysia, yeah. where we finally we have this kind of gym. Yeah. That's, that's like, there. damn, that's yeah. good. We've been waiting for so long, right? Just train, shower, that's it. Exactly. But yeah, other, oh yeah, other how people many more. of them are, are out there? Right? Yeah, yeah, other people more like, oh, does it have sauna? Like, yeah. What about classes? How many, how many uh, treadmills do you have? Do you have? <laughs> yeah, do you have towels? <laughs> <laughs> Small ones? So, Free towels. Free towels. <laughs> so that's one thing I had to learn very fast. Um, okay. Even small things like the equipment was super intimidating. I had to look for kettlebells, but colored kettlebells. Mm. We have pink, yellow, light blue kettlebells. Right, right, right. Yep. Because then at least I can attract, the, you know, the ladies, ladies. Yep. Um, and lighter dumbbells, lighter barbells, mm. lighter plates, all these things. 
because um, you do want to take out that intimidation factor. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're not we're not at the stage of uh, the U.S. example, like yeah, a yeah. gym like Barbell Brigade. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. You get like fit girls coming into the gym, yep. and they don't mind. Yeah, they don't care. Alone yeah. Yeah. With a bunch of like thick muscle dudes. Yes. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah. Um, Just curious. Um, how did you figure this out? Did you hand out like a, a feedback form? It, it was or? just general feedback. People okay. told and me. they specifically said, Wait, this is kind of intimidating. Yeah, physically. you can see people just, just the demeanor. Like one of our staff would be giving a gym tour and then a weight would be slammed and they'd be like, ah. Oh, uh, yeah, ah. that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're out the door right away. Yeah, it's right, like, right? oh my God, that's so uh, dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, You're welcoming. yeah, I mean, uh, it just had to change right away. Okay. Right? Um, as cool as the idea, I mean, it's good that the business owner, you have to believe in the product. Yeah. But if it doesn't work, you need to change yeah, it. Gonna change. Yeah, you're going to change it. Yeah. You still need to mm. pay bills. Yeah. Yeah. Got to eat. Pay rent, electricity, salaries, For and all sure. that. Mm. So you got to mm. somehow evolve. In the, so we're constantly evolving. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just trying to find that right recipe. Right, that right, right, right. recipe. And you um, mentioned the, the core um, activity of your business, I guess is still the membership. Yes. You don't think that those mass classes will eventually be like more worth it? You can hold it. it it's relatively less less effort and then Yeah, I mean the more, idea of more more you pay one trainer to train. Exactly. Instead people. of like you having to we, aggressively market. Yeah, I mean stuff. we've considered that. We've considered that. Um, but the problem with our gym, and it's similar to this, is mm -hmm. there's no studio where you can... Okay. So, so okay. Have a we private have, session, we have, right? quite a number of members, paying members, mm -hmm. monthly members who like to just do their own thing. And if we were to just change that right up, yep. we'd lose a lot of members, yep. right? And because uh, we're so deep into this memberships model, I believe there is a place for a gym like this for our memberships because right. these guys are paying you on a monthly basis. Yeah. That is your income that you know you will it's get. It's coming, yeah. right? Yeah. It's coming, yeah. right? Um, Ideally, you want that to pay your bills, okay. your rent, and then anything else you make. What is it's extra. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right? So that's, that's why I believe um, for us, we still need it. Um, and, and we've, well, I mean, we've been operating for over a year already. We, we, we have managed to find this solid base of members now. Um, and now it's just a, a matter of uh, making sure they stay. Mm -hmm. And just providing more value. Providing, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just if, if you're okay with it, uh, how many members do you currently have? Uh, okay. So this number fluctuates depending on seasons. Mm. Summer, um, we have a lot of people, but I would say right now we're about paying members between 160 to 180. Oh, that's a lot what of money. the hell? No, but I mean the gym, the space what? is quite big. How, yeah. how big is the gym? How many, how many square it's, feet? like 4,200 square Okay, that's about twice this place. Yeah. That's 160. Really how many do we have? Yeah, oh, it's, really, yeah. it's really, it's uh, really, so, so how we've had to do it, and, and don't compare, because <laughs> yeah. my number is very small compared to other gyms as well. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's my number is yeah. big for you guys, like, yeah. we're all yeah. in different yeah. Yeah. pathways, yeah. right? It's, um, but for us, we need like a dedicated sales team. Yeah, just so to right handle all that stuff, right? Mm. Um, and I tell you why it's super important. You have two people bringing in the uh, bringing in the uh, uh, the clients to you. Yeah. They give a free trial, maybe give a gym tour, and 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 uh, and then sign up, right? Now you can have two amazing uh, sales staff that bring example ten new members each, so that's twenty, right? Bring them in. But that really doesn't mean anything if, it, if by the end of the month they're you have they're 30 gone. other people who don't renew or who, who just cancel. Mm. That's true. Right, yeah. So in fact, so they, you lose 10 people, yeah. right? Yeah. So there is a constant need for a salesperson to mm -hmm. go look for that business, right. right? And at the same time, when you have them, you got to find a way to just make sure they retain, they retain them. Retain but them we'll we'll speak about that. this uh, later because okay. right now we have to take we'll a short break. Sponsor. Okay. It's not no we, we can't put sponsors anymore. Oh yeah, we don't we don't <laughs> have so sponsors. This is because anymore. our camera Thanks, cannot YouTube. go beyond twenty minutes. Okay. So no, we'll be it's right back. It's no.
and we're back at Baba Junction without any sponsors. <laughs> 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 we, we were uh, talking about your sales team. Uh, I was yeah. actually going to go there as well. Um, what actually do they do? Um, how do they get the sales, sales for you? Guys, yeah. So, um, so uh, I think the main thing is really we need to, we have a process of like collecting leads. Don't want to get too technical. So ba- basically, please any do, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, secrets. But basically, we have people coming in on, uh, let's say people just walk in and inquire. Uh, usually we will offer them a free trial or if they just walk in, uh, we main thing is we need to get their 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 details name okay. number mm-hmm. email address mm-hmm. that's like the main thing uh, so we have a system now where we, we key it into um, and then what these sales guys do <coughs> is they will contact them after like right. a follow up yeah just mm-hmm. a follow up hey how was your experience in yeah. the gym uh, uh, what do you like about the gym of course there's more to it but basically right. the, the end thing is would you be interested in membership mm. right um, and again sales is a whole new ballgame I'm particularly not a salesperson. Yeah. Um, uh, we have someone to help train our sales guys, um, but that's particularly what they do. We okay. also have a website um, where if anyone's interested, they can just leave in their name, number, email address, and same thing. It goes to our system, and we contact mm. them. Anyone who comes through ClassPass, they register with us, check in. We have the name, number, email address. Mm, I see. So. With these numbers, these guys are busy on the phone all the time, mm, okay. setting up appointments. Uh, if they want to come in for a free trial, they come for a free trial and things like that. Uh, and again, that's why we have to provide all these other things like a nice shower with towels, yeah. classes, personal yeah. training, because that makes the salesperson's life a bit easier. Easier yeah. to sell it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, uh, you want to lose weight? Sure. We have great the personal class, trainers. Personal yeah. Trainer, right? yeah. You can come to our group classes every weekend. Right. It's okay. free of charge. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, and oh, uh, I'm sold. Like, I wanna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm or, sold. or simple things like uh, like I can only train in the morning. Uh, do you have showers? Yeah, we do. We have towels as well. That's free of charge. I see. Okay. You know? Yeah. Mm. So that's why you, you need all these like hooks. Mm. Along yeah, the yeah. Way. yeah. Yeah. But but long story short, you you need like a what you call like a sales funnel. Like mm. people come yes. in. Mm. You need at the very least name, number, email address. And uh, as the team grows, I would dedicate one person or two people to focus on just that. Yeah. Right. So that's their daily task. Yeah. Uh, what's the percentage uh, in terms of your conversion rate? Oh, maybe it's low. It's still a numbers game. Maybe about, by right, industry standard, I believe, should be about 30, 30%. 30%? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you um, get a lot of people walking in and uh, buying yeah, through the uh, class pass and all yeah, that. Yeah, I think I think what helps us is location. Mm. It's also in a mall, so you yeah. get people just walking around. Mm. Yep. Um, and then word of mouth helps, but also where we stay, there's a lot of uh, offices, residential okay. areas, mm. yeah. and uh, stuff like that. So there's a lot of natural traffic. Right. So yeah. you, your sales team do they go out to these neighboring uh, areas and? Uh, um, when we feel our leads are running low. Then we do. Okay. Uh, and that's what you call like outreach, where yeah. they may stand upstairs, you Get dish out flyers, flyers right. or, oh, okay. or do like random fitness contests. And if you, w- if you win or achieve it, then hey, here's a free pass. Right. Like, like there are a lot of I things see. that at the start we had to do um, just to collect leads. Um, mm-hmm. and, and your current churn rate for mm-hmm. your members, uh, how much is that? Sorry? Your that? Churn, churn rate. Oh, I don't know. Like, like, how, how long do they stay? No, how, how, um, how often? They come and leave. How much do you retain, like monthly? Like, how many people leave? Oh, wow. I don't have a specific number for that, but uh, it's hard to say. But obviously, what we try and do each time is trying to lower that number, right? Right. But there are a lot of things that we also can do to um, retain customers, and that's really from. The point you walk in, customer service, right? Yeah. Greeting them with a hi, yes. bye. Yeah. Knowing mm. their name. Yeah. Genuinely. Yes. Uh, knowing what they do. And, 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 yeah. You know? Oh, uh, hi, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the gym and then that's it. Yeah. 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 But that, um, that goes a long way though. It goes I, a That's why I believe. Yeah. It goes a very long way. And yeah. I think that's the beauty of smaller gyms because yeah. you can really get to know. It's easy to do. Yeah. 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 
So that's it's not easy one. to remember like 180 different people. Like, oh, so hi, it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> gyms, I can imagine they struggle with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that's where we can be a bit different, right? Okay. Uh, they feel that homey community feel, yeah. Yeah. Um, which a lot of people are attracted to. Um, another thing that we recently did was uh, like a members' night kind of thing where you. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, bring, yeah. bring the members out. I mean, we're not at a stage where we can pay for the whole night, but mm-hmm. what we did was we actually <clears throat> went to a restaurant uh, and we asked them, we just said, hey, we're going to bring a big group of people this evening. We'll go during your quietest night. Um, and then make noise. Give us a, yeah, so we can uh, make, make noise. noise. <laughs> uh, give us, uh, uh, can you give us a good discount yeah. for the team? And, mm. and then, yeah, so. So the whole place, uh, the whole restaurant is booked out for 100 Not the whole hours. restaurant. Oh, no, okay. no, I mean, we started... Um, with about 30 to 40 people, which is a good group. Oh, okay, so this was group. back then. Uh, oh, no, no, no. This was, was uh, recent, recently. Recent, recent, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But not everyone will go, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 30 to 40 people clicked attending and, and actually went. Oh, right. okay. So we had a big portion of their upstairs reserved by us. Um, you know, these small things help mm-hmm. to retain mm. uh, yep. these customers. And then they might tell other people about it and be like, and hey, this place is good. Exactly, mm. yeah. yeah. Are you um, looking to move... Uh, move away from eventually moving away from that sales focused model into something that's uh, I guess less effort and more yeah a bit more, more organic recur- yeah, yeah returns, uh, I, guess. I would love that but I really feel that there is an, a place for a place for the sales person sales yeah. 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 so, so yeah. how I've uh, so we actually are working with a consultant and this person is, is, is fucking amazing mm-hmm. uh, he's helping us he's been helping us a lot um he has a commercial gym background, and his view is that even small gyms like this still should follow the way commercial gyms run. Okay. Mm. Just because they've got the processes and, and they, they're very structured and, yeah. and, and they have salespeople, they bring them in and, and a bunch like a, of things that Like need. a script when Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but on the outside, you can still be that boutique small gym yeah, right, right? Mm-hmm. but on the back end you still need to be very mm. structured and, and mm. something yeah. like that the reality is people come in who's going to explain the membership packages and stuff as the owner you don't want to do that all the time mm-hmm. yeah so I still feel that there needs to be that there needs to be at least one salesperson mm-hmm. that takes care ready of ready to be yeah. okay of course I, when I first started I felt there was no need like hey you, you yeah, build I an, can do it right? uh, you build an, no like you build an epic gym then you'll just be making money yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you do it's, it's like you still need to treat it on a daily basis and, and how these commercial gyms run is they have like weekly trainings yeah for the weekly meetings coaches, yeah. even sometimes daily meetings yeah, yeah. And, and like sales is uh, it's an ongoing thing right? yeah, yeah. so um like I would say you still need to you still need to, you still need to. so on a day to day basis uh, what do you do for the business in the business me so I'm more I would say like operations guy right so um, I need to handle as much as so last time I was very 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 hands on in the gym every day trying to firefight any 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 problems but now I'm doing my best especially this year to, to take like two three steps back to mm. have an overview yes mm, right mm. and I think that's really what the goal should be right um, so us is for me now it's really just um, tracking daily sales right um, it's more the number stuff right coming up with sort new of ideas. higher level yeah, new ideas yeah. and, and, and business decisions um, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie last year and it was a big mistake I made and I'm sure a lot of people do this, made a lot of business decisions just based on intuition. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. what we should do mm-hmm. because so-and-so said so, yeah. so let's just do it. Yeah. Uh, but, but this year I said, you know, we, like, it needs to be backed by numbers. Right. Right? numbers. Okay. So mm-hmm. we have daily tracking systems that the team report back. At the end of the day, the shift's finished. And check in. How many people came into the gym? How many people did we... Um, I interview how many people, uh, uh, how many appointments did we make and right. stuff like that, and how many people did we close. So I look at all these numbers all the time. Uh, how much money did we make from water? How much money did we make from pre-workout and right. shakes? And right. I analyze all these things. Um, like I said at the start, 
opened it. When I first wanted to open the gym, I thought, hey, just, just open, open it. Sick just gym, open it. Yeah. you know, yeah. you make money. If but you build it, they'll, they'll yeah. come. <laughs> yeah. You realize, you realize that you have to look into these things. Right. You have to. Do you mind sharing uh, what mistakes you made last year? Uh, I think the main one was really the intuition thing. Like yeah. I would just right. come up with ideas and just do. Let's just, do it. Just do it. Right. right. Yeah. I saw this on YouTube. It worked. So, mm-hmm. it worked so for let's us, just right? do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, what what, what was it? Yeah. Yeah. Specific examples. examples yeah. um, things like okay, so the most recent example I started think a podcast. Of was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a what? Started Sorry, a podcast. A podcast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just podcast. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what's this uh, uh, example? We had an issue, like most gyms do. Uh, during work hours, gym is quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. One member walked up to me and said, hey, why don't you just do a uh, cheaper walk-in rate so you can drive traffic into the gym? Naturally, you think, oh, that's such a cool idea. Mm. You earn some money than, than zero, right? Yeah. 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 And the gym is quiet, so at least fill it with There's people. No, right? So we, we charge, so for your information, our walk-in rates are 35 ringgit. Mm-hmm. 35. 35. 35. Um, and I'll explain why uh, later, but... We did our non-peak hours between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mm. at just 15 ringgit. Whoa. 15, so it's like... It's more than half. More than half, mm-hmm. right? And that was great. It, it hit, like, very well. Students started coming in. Like, the gym between 11 and 4 was quite busy. Um, and it was nice. And we were running that for about six months. Oh. And, and that was really cool because we, we saw, we saw a, a new crowd. But what we noticed was we couldn't really convert these guys into mm. paying membership. Right. Because they did the maths and they were like, if I just come between 11 and 4, I, I'm actually saving money, saving money. versus okay. getting one, the membership, yeah. which is the one that helps me pay the rent. Yeah. Right? Right. yeah. So then it, uh, then our consultant did the numbers and they were like, and he said, you know. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Like, yes, we're getting a lot of numbers, but like our memberships was affected. People weren't paying for the memberships because right. they saw they did the maths they saw the value in just coming in, just coming in right. ringgit. so things like that then we realized okay we gotta take this out and we took it out <coughs> last month right uh, no one complained thankfully and I think people it was because people saw that what this is a real bargain yeah you know yeah um, and then we even had people who would message us and say hey by the way is the 15 ringgit uh, like because on weekends we don't do the 15 ringgit walking right uh, is it valid today? It's a Saturday. And we say no, they won't even come. Mm. They won't even come. And then we even did like a cost analysis on how much it costs for a walk-in to use uh, towels and showers at the end. Mm. And it was... More than... Or close to 15. More than 15 or slightly oh, 15. more than... Or around 15. So we were like, we're actually making no money. Nothing, right? right? Okay. Down. Yeah. Right. So was it actually... Was that idea that was uh, the problem, or was it 15 ringgit? You think it was just, just a bit too yeah. low? What if it was 20 instead? You see, if it was 20, I don't know how many people would have come. Like, I, I, yeah. We said, let's come up with a number that's just, don't think about it. 15, yeah, sure. They wouldn't think twice. Right? At, yeah. at 20, you, you'd probably still think twice, right? But 15 in that area, it was kind of a. It's like, whoa, it's such a steal. A steal. That's a yeah. steal, <laughs> man. Yeah. Normal price is 35. I'll just go. Mm, yeah. mm. So we made mistakes like that. Where we just said, ah, let's just go without yeah. like really diving deeper into mm. what this could do, right? right? Um, so right now you don't have any. Uh, you have cool. walk-in rates, but not the during no the off peak. So no. anyone, anytime is thirty-five ringgit. Okay. And uh, even though you said that the cost for someone to use the facility is more than fifteen ringgit, um, w- with when you cancel this off peak hours program how much of a revenue did you guys lose okay so i think because we've run this like uh just over it's just been over a month i don't think we have enough data to say that okay right. but we can see a spike in, in membership our memberships which mm. again i say it's super important okay. right right we've seen that spike and also we see that slowly um, like memberships that wasn't being paid for at the time was increasing and also people are also paying the 35 right. and if you think about it the 35 ringgit people who are willing to pay 35 ringgit 
for our gym, we want those people. Yeah, right? because they know. Because you know you could yeah. eventually convert them, them, right? Convert yeah, that's them. right. But if you're just... The 15, 15 ring a guy. There's no way that you'll, yeah. you'll convert them. Yeah. yeah. There's no way. They'll just go to some other cheap gym. Again. Yeah, they'll go yeah. to another cheap gym. Um, and we had a towel. We have a, still do have a towels issue where our towels run out. Yeah. And I'd rather our towels run out for people who are paying the full price. That's true. Yeah. 15, yeah. 15 ring so ring guy. You've got to think of all these things. Yeah. All these things, right? Yeah. Um, so that was what was very interesting for us. Um, and for the salespeople, they were very happy. They were mm. like, oh, thank God, this 15 yeah. thing is over. Mm. It, it's so much easier to sell upsell membership, them right? to a membership. Mm. Right. Yeah. So for, for your membership, do you, how do you hook? How long do you hook them for? Like, is it monthly, so, three months? Uh, we have uh, monthly, and we also have six months and 12 months. Okay. So it's pretty much like a commercial gym. Yeah. yeah. We, try we also do like flexible things like five session passes, mm. but those are for uh, like tourists. Yeah, right. expats. Yeah. Or what, yeah. Expats, yeah. 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 They're not here for long, or they're here for business or, or things. So, so we, we offer that sort of mm. flexibility as well. Which, which um, uh, package is the highest in terms of uh, take up? Uh, 12. 12? But that's just because there's the most value, right? But they pay uh, one lump sum or you it's have a... It's a mix. We, we, we offer lump sum. We offer um, auto debit. Uh, auto debit. Okay. Yeah. okay. <coughs> All right. Please so take note. How, how important do you think is the auto debit system in locking in this 12, 12 month? That's oh, super important. So important. Like, uh, there is a need for auto debit people, there's also a need for yeah. upfront, yeah. right? Lump sum. <coughs> Lump sum, right? The, why I actually prefer auto debit is because you know you're gonna get that revenue every month, right? Mm. The scary yeah, thing about Lump the scary sum. thing about upfront, yeah. as amazing as it sounds, you, you get let's say it. three thousand, yeah. two thousand ringgit today. Yeah. You can spend that tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And technically that guy or girl is training for free for the rest of the year. Yeah. Right? That's true. Um so that's the other scary part. But you do need both because that lump sum will, will, will help yeah, pay for, yeah, for other yeah. things that, that you need. Um, but I think the secret, if you want to follow a membership model, is to build a very strong auto debit business. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have to take another break. Another break? All yeah. Right. Okay. Not to listen to our sponsors. No sponsors. <laughs> no. It's just because Still the camera. No sponsors. No sponsors. <laughs> Still no sponsors. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hi, if you're interested to be on the podcast, send an email to info at zilfit.com.my. Alternatively, you can just give me a call at 012-2361. We can talk about anything. If you want to promote your products, if you want to promote yourself, bring it on. See you on the show. 3, 2, 1. And we're back at Bubble Junction with Thank you, Carlos. YouTube. From Union Strength. <sighs> Where were we? <laughs> we were yeah, so in a lot of places. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, I know that recently Anytime Fitness opened up Ooh. right in front, is it? Right opposite of yeah. your, your yep. gym? Yeah. So uh, how has that affected your, your business? Um, so yeah, now we have noisy neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Competition is very good, but like they're right next to us. Right in front of you. Um, so it of course has affected us mm -hmm. it's affected us um, to be honest more so than I anticipated mm -hmm. um, in a sense that we had seen a few of our members Converting? move on convert right right and then you can um, just see them across from you you're like oh, hey, yeah, it's, hey it's quite often hi Mark like, back. yeah I, I'm like <laughs> working out and then I see new faces or like our faces moving yeah. over to them yeah um, so it affected us more so than uh, more so than I thought Right. Uh, like emotionally? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Emotionally, <laughs> this is why. Well. Well. I trusted you, Mark. <laughs> Mark went behind my back. Yeah. Damn, Mark. Um, <laughs> no, but, but the good thing is, um, if we're talking about our core members, those who have been with us from the start, those who really like strength training and stuff, they've not moved. Yeah. The people who have moved are, you know, the casual, casual like tread, what I call the treadmill members, mm -hmm. treadmillers, and run <laughs> treadmill and then leave. Mm -hmm. uh, and then again, like we only have two treadmills in the gym, so to be to be honest, they're be, probably yeah. better off in in, in yeah, terms, yeah. Right? more And suitable. there are people who are very price sensitive, so they had a very attractive uh, 
uh, Off, opening offer, offer like yeah. opening yeah. offer. So, mm. so people who said it's cheaper, fine, fair enough, it's cheaper. Uh, they move, they move there. Um, so it's affected us in that sense. Uh, I think at the start I was quite cocky. I was like. Ah, We'll Any time fitness, come on. Go over there. I'm not going to see Mark's face in there. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Mark wouldn't leave. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, Mark? Uh, yeah, Carlos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't we been to the gym? <laughs> Work, <laughs> life, you know. Yeah, you know, life gets is. in the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it affected us more so. Um, but in a way, there are a lot of good things out that came out of that. Yeah. Um, we had to really step up our game. Yeah. Uh, we introduced uh, a lot of new things because they came in. New things that probably we wouldn't have done if they didn't. Yeah, right. If they're a bit more come. passive, right? About yeah, yeah. So, you know, there we're in a nice corner of the mall. We have our own traffic. It's fine. You know, life's good yeah. and stuff like that. But now we this have... It's like right in front. <laughs> okay, guys, what are we going to do? So simple things like we need to tighten our customer service. Right. Mm-hmm. They don't have a front desk per se. Yeah. We do. And everything, like, like you said, from, from the moment you walk in, give them that union strength mm. experience. Yeah. You walk in, hi, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> give <laughs> not Mark. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, we're not Welcome any back, particular Mark. 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 Yeah. It's just a random yeah. name. Um, <laughs> hi, so-and-so. Um, how are you doing today? Blah, blah, blah. From the time that they leave, Hey, hope you had a good workout. When am I seeing you next? So, so mm, those things had yeah. to change. Yeah. Um, we had to introduce classes. I was quite against classes at the start, but we had to find was, ways yeah. to. Yeah. 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 But I think we all are like generally like just a, the way that we train. Yeah. We're sort of like mm, class. Mm. Yeah. 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 But you have to see what people go what for, people, right? Yeah, what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Selling and, out. And to be honest, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, another podcast. So we had to we had to introduce things like that. Um, we had to introduce things like like we, we bring some how do we retain customers yeah. right we had to introduce things like the members night out mm. like really what I realized was and again it could be a blessing in disguise mm-hmm. um, I realized now that there's also no point going head to head against them yeah no point yeah it doesn't work they've yeah. got money yeah. they've got so much more to yeah, offer they've got more resources more yeah. resources with a flick of a finger they can really shut us down yeah right? So the route we're going for now is how do we be different, right? Buy yeah. Aleko. <laughs> <laughs> Plug, right? Yeah, yeah. right there. Uh, the pricing and the discount and everything. Oh, yeah. 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 This the was right. So, so how, how do we become different, right? Because when, even before we opened, my good friends and even our members were saying, you know, don't worry, you guys are very different. And we are. We, we still are. Yeah. But the core of the business is pretty much the same. The same. Yeah. Memberships, mm-hmm. personal training. Yeah. That's it. You think they can probably do it more efficiently? And they, they, they're they a lot yeah, more structured. Yeah, structure, yeah it's right? easy for them. Yeah. Um, I think, and they've been doing this for years. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're just a, mind you, we're just like a, a year old yeah. company, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Weren't you like an ex anytime person? Yeah, well, shout out. To yeah. <laughs> See, we took one of your customers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take another one soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and the scary thing about them is that they're not just them. Uh, one, like anytime, Monkara. So they're everywhere. Like an extension of, of, of like a big of course. Colossus. A colossus, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so it's not like we can say, yeah, sure, give us one year. We'll give you 20 other gyms to go to as well. Like, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Right? yeah. So. Like, just be different. And, and we're working in ways. I can't really say what we're doing next, but we, we have to, like, I mean, we're forced to yeah. come up with different ways to, to be different. Um, I do believe that, um, I do believe that there, like, we can all survive yeah. in one ecosystem, but yeah. it's just so uncalled for that they're right. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Like, we had to see them unfold yeah. from construction to, you know, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, <laughs> and it was really uh, well the, the, the management who allowed it they're not protecting us so yeah that's true it's, it's yeah they were just like yeah just open it there yeah it's, empty it's, slot it's, it's, it's a big oh, shame oh more gyms right? better yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> they don't get yeah. it <laughs> but also we also know where we stand if we were to take this to <clears throat> to court or anything is there really any point yeah not yeah. really yeah. come yeah. on we are just a small client you guys are in a mall? So we're in a mall. Okay. Yeah. 
right by the escalator, level one. Level one. Turn right. You know, you should you should get a lot of powerlifters to go there and deadlift, and then when people complain, you get the SVR problem solved. <laughs> What's that? Now you're dating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dating is coming from any time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just just say. Yeah, man. Ever since that gym opened, it's been yeah, it's so insane. noisy. <laughs> 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 I've had other people blaming me, but do we look like that kind of gym? <laughs> but oh, do, yeah. do you think Treadmills. that you are uh, sort of losing yourself because of all this? Identity, you, you needed to adapt. Crisis. Yeah, identity you need to change. Crisis. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, as far as this year has started, it's been hectic. Mm. It's been like since once January hit, there was a lot of things that came into my mind okay one we're now one year old we now need to really transform this business yeah. and two we've got noisy neighbors coming soon what are we yeah. going to do yeah pulling my hair and you know um, uh, so yeah we've had to change the gym in a sense that uh, just to accommodate the current market mm -hmm. right. um, and yeah it, it has left me confused like okay what are we now what yeah. are we now Exactly. Um, yeah. I think we got <laughs> to that point yeah. really quick. Yeah, very no, quick. But, in a quarter. No, no, no but, but even when the gym opened, we had to, ch we, like I, what we explained earlier, yeah. we had to change yeah. the whole focus. And yeah. I think you have to constantly evolve. Yeah, yeah, we have to, yeah, for you sure. Know? Yeah. Um, and what makes a good business owner is one who can transform mm. and evolve to follow and keep up with, you know, the trend. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if you don't change, then you just won't, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was being just feeling a little bit proud now. Like, yeah, yeah we're yeah. transforming. I think it's, it's, it's doing the right it's, it's thing normal. after all. <laughs> it's, it's normal. And man, there are many times where I, okay, I don't have issues falling asleep, but sometimes I have like I wake up before my alarm. Mm. Yeah. And once I wake up, all these thoughts come in my head, like, yeah. oh, and I can't sleep anymore. Mm. I know how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's just normal. You should never feel comfortable anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think being that soul gym in the corner of the mall made you a bit made comfortable, a bit right? Comfortable yeah. Yeah. Because we had nothing to worry about. Yeah. 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 It'll still exist somehow, right? Yeah. yeah but now you're now you're under like the threat of like you know. But from actually here, it's out. now here, right? Yeah. But, but it's okay. Like I, I I think this has really pushed the gym in mm -hmm. general. Yeah. To uh, to really succeed and again be different right yeah are you looking to eventually like no like you know have any more hands or anything to do with the gym like or does it have still have that sentimental value to you you still want to be I part of it in the long run in the long run the idea really is business owner you want to be able to just sit be back, in the bahamas let it go and yeah, yeah. And let let, let money, money come in but i think it also really depends on on, on the business owner I love the process of yeah. owning a gym. Yeah. I love the process of uh, and the idea of opening up the gym. Maybe once in a while, like cleaning the toilets, closing the yeah. gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, my, detail, the phase right? the, uh, the phase of that has has moved already. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that idea. To this day, I still take up shifts if people are on MC and no one can really cover. Yeah. Um, so I don't mind that. But I know that will transform eventually. Eventually, in the future, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but if you ask me, I have no issues staying in the gym all day. Yeah. No issues. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And they're like different different uh, business owners are different in different, that sense. Yeah. Some people want to own something and just let the let team it be handle it. Yeah. You know, while I'm sipping my pina colada in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Hawaii or Honolulu. Uh, but some people, uh, me included, I like to get into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get my yeah. hands dirty. Mm -hmm. I get my yeah. hands dirty. So it... It really, it really depends. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. uh, iPads it, running out there. It really depends. Um, but yeah, I would say in the in the long run, I'll probably want to take a sit back yeah. approach. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Probably when you're a bit older. Then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think we are experiencing the same things by a different scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I was just like a little bit accelerated. Yeah. yeah. Very accelerated. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. we'd have to adapt on the fly almost every day, actually. Like, we yeah. check the numbers. We do most of the stuff. Well, Osmir checks the numbers and he tells, yeah. like, guys, we're, you know, gotta do something yesterday. Gotta do something yeah. Yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I always tell them, you know, like, go when back. Do you, when, do, when do you want it? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Practicing for when yeah. this turns into a big corporation. But, but yeah. for me, as a business owner, what I like, I like is 
looking at the obstacle and then trying to find ways to totally. overcome see, I'm it. I'm with yeah. you. I right? love that. I yeah. love yeah. that. I, like, I see a, a problem as, like, it's not the end of the world. Like, yeah. let's fix it. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing, you know? Sometimes it's an opportunity for, for something bigger. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, this is a good example, the podcast. It's because it's we had a problem and then we had to figure out ways uh, to, um, I don't say adapt, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. How how do you compensate? compensate. How do you get uh, mm. revenue? How do you get yourself Trading. out there? You know, because mm. one of our biggest problems is that we don't have a sales team per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, we are the sales team. Yeah. So <laughs> and, I think it should be that way. Anyway. Yeah. And we we find it a bit difficult to because our challenge is to convince people into powerlifting, mm. weightlifting, weightlifting yeah. or yeah. even functional training or CrossFit, right? But it's not easy, right? Especially at, in the location that we are at. So. That's why we say, okay, fine. How do we get across yeah. to a bunch of a lot of people out who there. are n- yeah out there mm-hmm. who are not interested in weightlifting or powerlifting yeah. or even strength training? So uh, the yeah. idea came about. Okay, let's just do a podcast and yeah. see where it goes. Yeah. So we, we have the yeah. internet. We got some computers. Yeah. What do we do? We just we figure use it yeah. out. Yeah. Use it somehow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Other right, than right, Excel right now, sheets. I think we're, we're getting a bit of attraction. Yeah. Right. So we just want to keep good. the momentum. But I also do it. have to say that what mm. works for me also may not work for you guys. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's true. So yeah. Take yeah. it with a pinch of salt. I mean, try trial and error. Yeah. So that's the fun part about it. You know, you fail, you get up. You fail, you get up. You know. So you move on. Yeah. I think the most important part is. Is uh, you like you don't give up, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you don't give up, but end of the day, right, guys? And I had to realize this as well. Like, why do we start business? Mm-hmm. We want money as well. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's the end of the day. Pas- passion is very important. Passion is what drives all of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it takes you so far. You can't eat. You can't eat passion. You can't eat passion. Passion has no macros. No macros. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Um, as as a business owner, um, how do you fare with like uh, from, from a mental point of view? How do you fare with all the stress and all the? Does it get overwhelming? Or are you a, a neurotic kind of guy? I think. And how much is the consultant being there? How much does that help you? The consultant. Yeah, the consultant. Oh, yeah. consultant, one hundred percent. It seems like you have to do a lot of things. If, can, if I were in your shoes, I'd probably get overwhelmed. Mm, yeah. Um, mm. I think the good thing about me is I deal with stress quite, quite well. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm generally a positive guy. Mm-hmm. Right. And if, like, can we cuss here? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, 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 sure. You can, you can, yeah. you can uh, mm-hmm. bleep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if <laughs> Please, YouTube. Happen, we just opened um, this channel. <laughs> uh, like, I always try and stay calm about it. Of course, I have those stressful days. But I think it's very important to have people to talk to. Yeah. And, and that's why uh, you know our consultant has helped a lot mm-hmm. um, most of my friends who have opened studios have partners okay yeah. um, and I think that really helps yeah uh, but for me it's it's kind of just like me yeah just one, right? one. Is, is there a reason why you you edit alone or um, I felt very strongly for what I wanted to do yeah mm-hmm. and I knew that if I pitched it to someone else that idea probably would have changed mm-hmm. and, and, okay. and so yeah, not what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it was an idea that I had for like three years prior to the gym opening. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I had a lot of courage. A lot of people used to say, "Whoa, you got a lot of balls." I didn't realize what I was getting into at the time. Yeah. Like, I just did it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not Trust me, guys. Now. I got this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it's important to be able to deal with stress, and 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 I'm very lucky to have a, like very supportive parents mm-hmm. as well, uh, so I can speak to them whenever. Um, which, by the way, working with your parents is not always easy as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, not always easy, but I have a very good support system. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I think you just have to be positive, as positive as possible. Mm. Yeah. That's like, there's no no in a in a business owner's a business owner's no. mind, right? It it's be every, a no. Yeah. It's like, Everything's like yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? But how is yeah. another story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's never a no. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So, so even though you, for the most part, you dictate sort of the direction of your business, you, you still take inputs from your from your uh, employees and stuff, right? If they have oh, ideas have and stuff. Have to, have to. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they're there, they see it. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I realize the importance of it. Like right now, I'm able to come to this podcast. Because they're there. Hundred percent sure. 
and and I'm very confident that the gym is they fine. Can yeah. They can run it. It's going to burn down. <laughs> I, I can do everything. I yes. Do everything. Yeah. Yes. No chance. Um, so it's important to have a very strong team as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long have we gone? 56 minutes. Ooh, wow. Yeah. We're slowly yeah. getting, so, getting to the two hour mark. Um, it's a new PR today. <laughs> <laughs> new PR. Hitting PRs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to plug yourself? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please Actually, you no, know, we have a special guest that, that wants to oh. have say Who, something. Faris? Yeah. No, no. not Faris. Man, bro. Please. Bro, all right. So, yeah, we, we have some announcement. Well, not really announcement, but we just. Uh, just so people know where to find you. Yeah. Someone special coming on. It's Google. All right. All yeah, right. Yeah, Google, Google. Please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Google, where is Union Strength? I hope she gets it right. The address for Union Strength is first floor, Hartamas All right. Center, 60 level 1, Jalan Shri Hartamas 1, Taman Shri Hartamas, 50,480, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Google. <laughs> Google. I thought she was going to add opposite of any time. Opposite of any time. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> that might be the end for you. <laughs> so, any last words from um, you? No, Instagram, follow us on Instagram at unionstrength.my. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to come to the gym. You, you guys yep. as well. Yeah, feel free. yeah, sure. All right. Faye has been to the gym a few times. Feel free, like free? <laughs> no. Free trial, maybe. Yeah. Free trial. Yeah. Sign you up on the website. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get a call and you'll know exactly <laughs> what they want you to do. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, Carlos, for for coming in. Thanks for having me. Right. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks for having me. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you'll be back in a future episode. Uh, good luck with your business. Likewise. Yeah, All and right. uh, hopefully you. You you win with a battle with uh, your neighbor, the annoying the neighbor. Yeah. yeah, that could be the a purple, good title. Purple yeah, colossus. that'll be our title. Yeah. <laughs> it's not relevant, but. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. All right. Um, that's all we have for this week. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. Cheers. See you. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on. If you like the video, hit the like button and leave a comment. We're also on Spotify, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.